Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to install macOS on your external hard drive alongside Windows 11 using some basic settings so you just need to follow me. Firstly you open your browser and download CPUJ. For that you need to go to cpuid.com and download 64 bit version and install it on your computer. Next you need to download Python for that you need to open Microsoft Store and search for Python. Here I will download Python 3.10 version. Next you need to right click on your start menu icon and open disk management. After open disk management you need to right click on your uh, external hard drive and click on delete and after that right click and click on convert to gpt disk and after that i will right click and click on new simple volume then here i will select um near about 10000 mb that's been 10 gb okay after that click on next then next and here i will choose fat 32 and after that volume level i will set over here installer and click on next then finish as you can see installer partition is showing over here and rest of the partition I will use for macOS install. For that I will right click on unlocated partition and click on new simple volume then click on next. And then next here I will choose exfat the file system and volume level I will choose over here type macOS and click on finish. So both the partition is created successfully. Here on my computer, in this PC, as you can see, installer drive is showing. I'll go under that uh, partition and open my browser. And here I need to download open core PKG. So click on the latest uh, one and download the GIF file from here. And next you need to download the bootloader file from this website. All the link I will provide on my video description. So go to this website and simply open CPUJIT on your computer. After open CPUJIT, you will see the code name over here. In my case it is Coffee Lake. Simply open your browser and press Ctrl plus F and search the code name in my case it is coffee lake so i'll type over here so as you can see here is showing like desktop version so if you are using for uh, your laptop then you can also get from here so both the file is downloaded successfully as you can see so i'll click on open file location and i will extract one by one all of them so at first i will extract the efi uh, g file so right click extract and after extract you just need to copy the EFI file to your installer partition. After paste done you just need to extract the open core zip file. After extract done, you need to go under folder, go under utilities and then here you will get option called Mac recovery. So go under that folder. Now you can right click and open terminal or else you can uh, click on your uh, search bar and after that type CMD and press enter. After open CMD, you need to, you need to go open core install guide. So here you will get all the version. So download any. So in my case, I will download the Sonoma version. So I'll copy the uh, command from here. And after that, right click on your CMD and it will automatically paste. And after enter, it will automatically download on your computer. So you have to wait for few uh, minutes. It's depending on your internet speed. After download completed successfully, if you will go under Mac Recovery folder, 
you will see a new folder called com.apple.recovery.boot folder. So copy that folder and simply go under installer partition and paste it over here. After done all these steps, you need to restart your PC, go to your BIOS settings. After go to your BIOS settings, you need to find secure boot and disable it. In my case, it is under BIOS settings, so I'll disable from here. After that, you need two save changes. For that, you need to press F10 key from your keyboard and press enter. Now you need to open boot menu and after that, choose the new boot menu option for macOS. Select the new option called Installer DMG. Now choose the language and click on Next. Next you need to click on Disk Utility. On this window, you need to click on View and click on Show All Devices. And now I'll right click on my macOS drive which I have already created and click on Erase. You need to change the format to APFS. Now click on Erase. After format, click on Done. Now cancel the window. Now click on reinstall macOS Sonoma. Now you have to choose agree. And after that choose the partition where you want to install the macOS. And after that click on continue. Now it will take some time so you have to wait for a few hours. Now you have to choose some settings over here as per your choice and after that you need to create one account which will be used to log into your macOS. Now as you can see the installation is completed successfully. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.